I spent about 30 minutes to create this and this is something that I wouldn't have been able to create without AI. And this is the first time I feel that there is an application creation tool that does a pretty good job with the back end, not just with the front end. As you can see here, the front end looks like a baby design. But what I love about this particular application, which is called chef.convex.dev, is that it has a very strong back end. And there are a bunch of things that it can do. It made me like it so much that I decided to make this video. I want to show you, first of all, what is this tool, uh, like what I have built, and then we will come back and then build something like this in real time, like as you watch this video. First of all, this is like a very simple data science interview prep. You can sign in, you can sign up here. I want to say sign in anonymously. Once you sign in anonymously, you can see the practice areas. So I've got statistics and a bunch of other things. And you can see this very nice, simple card design. And within each section that I've got these questions and even these questions are not created by me. I just like literally went to chat GPT and I gave a particular format and then it gave me the question. I'll just give you a very simple example. I'm going to go to these questions. I'm going to just delete everything. And as you can see here, I just like literally moved from the code space to preview space to database space. And within this database space, I've got this particular custom query a schema and everything. And all I have to do is like click add. I'm going to get this particular JSON format. All I have to do is ask ChatGPT to give me something in this. So I'm going to say, um, this is um, give me 10 data science questions in this format. Another thing that you have to make sure is that it matches with the front end or whatever that you have got. I'm going to go to my preview and then just take a simple screenshot here and then say, these are the categories. So these are the category names. I'm okay with the typo. So now what ChatGPT is going to do is it's going to create these things for me and uh, I don't have to manually create it. So you can see that it identified that from the screenshot that I've got statistics and probability. So it created an answer, it created a question and it is doing all these things. Now, after it is done, all I have to do is I have to copy this JSON and paste it there. And the backend is quite solid, to be honest. Like you've got, once you go there, see, I'm not a backend guy. I'm not even a frontend guy. I'm not a full stack guy. So for me, when I see something like this, it looks so easy for me to process this. So I've got like the users, once users sign up, I'll get to know who are the users who are signing up. I've got logs. I can see like what is happening with the app. So somebody is trying to see the user, somebody is trying to see the questions. So you can, you get to basically see all these things. I don't have any files at this particular point, but I can go ahead and then upload the files. So as somebody who is trying to create a full stack application, this probably felt like the first time an application has got our AI application has got a strong backend connection. I've used V0, I've used Bolt, I've used Lovable with all these tools you can see that this is one tool that has got a very strong backend, not just the focus on the front end, which seems a very interesting direction to have. Now let's go back to ChatGPT and just like literally copy this. Okay, ChatGPT, I'm going to just copy this. Now come back to Chef by Convex. I'm going to go to the questions and say add and just paste it and save it. And once I do it, I'm going to go back to my preview and you can see that the questions that we pasted from ChatGPT are already here. So you can see these questions are there. So again, I don't know, nothing is there in deep learning. Okay, something in machine learning. I still have to improve the UI, you know, I have to expand the question, show something. But the fact that I could build something like this, like within 30 minutes, without having to know anything at all, is one, of course, it's dangerous, because if something goes wrong, I wouldn't know it. That's why I would do something like this on this particular platform, rather than doing it on Windsurf or Cursor. But second thing is like, it's quite fun. Like if I have to create something for fun, it's very interesting. So now that I showed you what tool I built, I would go back here to this home page and then just mention and then do something. Let's, let's do something for very fun. Okay. So what I want to do is I want to, I want to like build a simple school like community clone where my YouTube fans can sign up anonymously and then comment on my latest or maybe you should say then have discussion 
on my latest video content and i should be able to share links there it's a big ask let's see how it's going to start with the mvp so one thing that i love doing with these kind of ai tools is to first of all understand like what kind of planning that they're doing i think this is very important with the multi-agent system you need a good planner and this is something that i screwed up in a very recent interview so asked to design a multi-agent system and stupid of me that i didn't even start with a planner most likely i flunked the interview at this particular point so i will help you build a community platform with the discussions on link sharing here is the plan create tables for posts and comments as you can see here it starts with a very back-end mindset that's that's absolutely what i love about this particular platform so none of these platforms that you use like v0 or lovable start with a back-end mindset and this one starts with the back-end mindset add mutations for creating and managing posts and community build a clean ui with the feed and comment sections add link preview functionality and as it is doing something it's also saving you have title title is there everything is done almost there's a type check that's doing the type check has been failed it's trying to fix it hopefully my live demo works out go to the preview and so far there is no preview i think yeah so it's it's got to fix the front end pushed the functions to convex okay so i've got welcome to our community um sign in anonymously i can post a link um i'm currently maybe i should just get a youtube video let me go to my home hopefully nothing is there controversial so i've got um i've got a bunch of videos maybe switch to is coming i'm going to copy this paste the video optional link title uh, I want to buy switch too, but I don't have money. It's expensive and please stop the T A R A dash star, star star. Okay. Post it. And as you can see here, we have managed to create like a forum ish kind of an experience. So you can probably somebody can log in and then say comment hey guys this is so bad economy is tanking please buy playstation send it so it's good it's it's everything that we wanted is happening absolutely fine now what i'm going to say is i want to say the ui is pretty bad my kindergarten friend can design better Please take some inspiration from dribble kind of designs and design a top notch UI. So all I'm asking you to do is just to make a UI change changes. And now what you can do is like, because we have submitted something, we can now go to database and then see what kind of tables exist. So you've got the basic ones, auth accounts, auth rate limits, refresh tokens, and all those things. Now I can go click comments and you can see here, I've already got the comments table. I've, you can go click post, you can see I've got the post. And this is very, very important as you want to actually build a SaaS. I mean, everybody is saying SaaS is dead, but this is the first time I feel that like the backend is so tightly integrated to whatever that it is creating. I feel like you can truly create something like that is meaningful, whether it is a small CRM for your company, like an internal discussion platform like this, or maybe like a Stack Overflow clone. All these things require a strong backend because it's not just the fancy UI that will get you the app running, but you need a strong backend. And that's why backend engineers are like paid a lot more, generally speaking. And this application, Shift by Convex, is doing exactly the same. I couldn't find what kind of pricing that these guys are going to operate it with. Um, given that Convex is itself as a platform, they've got a separate pricing. I'm not sure like if it is going to be a free application on top of Convex. I'm like truly blown away by the uh, by by this particular tool. I want to sign out. And you know that most of the tools, when you sign out, like things would go away. But here it wouldn't happen because you've got a database and things get stored in database, which is a good thing. So I want to go refresh this. Okay, so it says, welcome to our community. I mean, okay, decent. Join the conversation and connect with others. Sign in anonymously. Okay, this is, the CSS is much better. You can create posts like this. There is like a, a gradient button. This is already there. I can just go, okay. So let's have a Gukesh video. I'll copy this. 
a gookish for those who do not watch chess is the current classical world chess champion and uh, he is from india i would go back here paste the title what's on your mind um i have to say this must be a fun video but i don't like botes sisters okay so i've got the second one i can say who doesn't like botes sister get the f out of this place so this is like somebody commenting to me it's it's beautiful i mean like the ui requires still further more improvement but this absolutely brilliant you can go back to the database see everything and they've got a deploy button i don't know what is going to happen if i click this i just like literally click this but the fact that you can do all these things just by prompting and uh, just by seeing like it's been deployed it says like view the site okay you can see unique Cormorant, Cormorant nine one three convex dot app sign in anonymously and this DB is already live. It is so brilliant. It is so amazing. I can't believe that this exists in twenty twenty five. But if you want to build something, then I mean, like literally, nothing stops you, and then you can just go do anything that you want. Let me know what you think about it. If you, especially if you're a full stack developer or a back end developer, let me know like if it is like a, a gimmick or if it is like truly, truly something amazing. See you in another video. Happy prompting.